Well, guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back. And I appreciate the support. We got up recording the video for a second. Listen, a lot of you guys have been asking me about, you know, an update on the Tyree Nichols case and uh, the situation with the next court date as far as these uh, five police officers up here as follows, whose names are Justin Smith. Darius Bean, Desmond Mills Jr., Demetrius Haley, and Emmett Martin III. Now, these officers right here, in case you don't know or you're not you're new to my channel or the story, these are the officers that were accused of beating uh, Tyree Nichols in January of this year, where he lost his life three days later from his injuries. Now, it's been a lot of scrutiny since the video came out. A lot of people were up in arms, and they should be. This should not have happened to any law-abiding citizen, especially from a specialized unit with a bunch of complaints that should have been investigated in the first place. Now, with that being said, the next court date is coming. that's coming up is August 18th, which is this Friday. Now, what I didn't know about this court date, guys, is this is the court date where all of the evidence and the case discoveries are individually handed out to each of these uh, five officers, their uh, legal teams. Now, what's big about that is a discovery is all of the information they gathered. You know, they were talking about there was nine plus hours of extra video supposedly released to the public, but mysteriously all of a sudden was held back. This is when it's going to be revealed. Now, whether the public will see it, or not, we don't know, but they will have all of the stuff for them to defend against. And I think this uh, court appearance right here, before I jump into that, let me say this. The last court appearance they had was in what? May 29th? No, no, no. June 29th, I think it was. And uh, in that, uh, that court uh, date they had, the legal teams... We learned a couple of things. The first thing was Justin Smith and Tredarius Bean tried to automat already separate themselves from being seen with the other three officers, Desmond Mills Jr., Demetrius Haley, and Emmy Martin III. That right there is a warning sign already telling you, hey, we didn't do anything. We're not like they are. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you, you're starting to see them unravel. And for one, don't think for one moment that these Five officers are sitting pretty and thinking that their lawyers have the, this whole case under control. This is a high tension uh, reality that they're facing right now because they don't even know what the police got on them. So once this comes out, right, you're going to start seeing a big unravel. And it already started with the two weakest links, Justin Smith. To Darius Bean, remember when the lawyer spoke a while ago, especially to Darius Bean's lawyer, when they first went to the arraignment, what did he say? My client, to Darius Bean, never struck Tyree Nichols. Now, that was a lie. I put it on the video. You seen it. It was a uh, pound cake and he right on the same block I stood at when I went down there to look at the site. Broad day. I mean, not broad day, like but right on camera. You can discern who's who. From the street light, thus making your client look guilty. I don't, and like I said before, I don't think a lot of these uh lawyers that took this case or were assigned this case with certain clients of these officers even looked at the footage. I don't think they did. I think they saw the beaten part and then went off of that. Because to Darius Bean's lawyer told a lie right at, right after the Remy in the courthouse, making his suspect, I mean making his uh off making his uh Client look guilty. So, I mean, it's a lot that got to be cleaned up. But once this happens, you'll start to see the dominoes move to where they might start falling. Now, the reason why this right here reminds me of that goon squad, that goon squad mess in Mississippi is you see how fast that uh, Mississippi situation happened where they violated them two gentlemen out there. You see how quick they ran and got guilty pleas, took deals? 
This case right here, you might see the same thing. Once this discovery drops on Friday, and that's the, this is the most important date prior to them going to trial, because remember, they say we're sticking our guns. We didn't do anything. We worked according to the law of what police officers are supposed to do. Once this comes out, it's going to cause all type of hysteria and discernment amongst them. And the reason why it is, is because in the discovery, ladies and gentlemen, it has eyewitness accounts from the people that were there, i.e. the co-defendants. They're going to say they didn't do something somebody else did and vice versa. They're going to have the facts all screwed up. But once it's all laid out there in that discovery, it's laid out there. If they want to straighten it out and say, hey, this didn't happen like this. It happened like this. They got to go to what? Trial. That's the part that sucks. Once that they get that and it's written a certain way, it cannot be rewritten. They got to go to trial to defend themselves. This is why they kept saying earlier, remember, what was it in, in March? Give us the stuff. What do you got? And, and the prosecution kept saying, hold up, we got to wait. We got so much evidence and stuff. We got to get it all in order. We got to put everything where it needs to get. And they on, they sitting back, biting their hands and, and feet. Because they got anxiety. They don't know what they got to defend against. Friday is when it comes out what they got to defend against. And I'm telling you, it's going to be something. You watch how they flip on each other. Like I said, it's unraveling of a knot. Started with Justice Smith and Tadarius Bean. I guarantee you, out of them two, I think Justice Smith and today they might take joint guilty pleas. They're going to be the first ones to fall because they're the weakest links. Because you remember that story? Tadarius Bean still want to be a cop. I don't want to do certified yet. Let me uh, go to trial and prove I ain't do nothing. While you, while all the while at the arraignment, your lawyer lied on you and said you didn't hit nobody. Everybody in the nation know you did it. I don't know what rabbit they trying to pull out of that hat, but it's going to prove futile. A man died messing with y'all. That didn't even do anything. Y'all treated him just like y'all treated any other ninja in the street and person of color that you think is doing something wrong. And that's why y'all under investigation from other crimes. The city's already in a financial mess. And here come a 550 uh, plus million dollar civil suit against them for your actions of being uh, unpolice like. I hope they get what they get. I feel nothing for them. I don't. And I hope uh, Police Chief C.J. Davis get what she get too. Because I got a feeling a couple of these dudes, when they get on the stand, if they have to get on the stand, she better hope they take guilty pleas and plea out if they offer that to them. Now, I don't know if the prosecutors are going to offer them deals and make them go and sit in front of the uh, jury and in front of America and say, this is on y'all. Defend yourselves, which they need to do because they do that to uh, common folk. They shouldn't have no uh, special privilege. I hope they do that. And like I said, after this is over, even if they take guilty pleas, they still got to go for sentencing. I'll go down there to Memphis like I promise you guys, and I'll cover those stories. Because this right here, I still can't get over how five black police officers do this to another black man that was a law-abiding citizen. Right? Wasn't in trouble or nothing. Didn't even do anything. And they jumped on him on mass and used such brutality for a guy shaped like licorice. Five of y'all and a lot of them dudes is big. Couldn't subdue him? Come on, man. Come on. This is stupid. But like I said, I'll be covering this story, man. I'm not going to let this thing go, man. I started in the beginning. We're going to ride this whole thing out. Leave me a comment, man. In fact, leave me a comment. I want to hear from y'all. Leave me a comment and s tell me, looking at the pictures and what's been said so far, who do you think is the first one to try to cop a deal once they see that discovery? Just give me the name. Because me personally, I think it's going to be a tie between Tadarius Bean and Just Justin Smith, especially Tadarius Bean because his lawyer lied and said he didn't hit, hit him. And when that discovery come out, because the order of time, I think, that they're going to get is Emmett Martin III. He's going to get the most time, followed by Demetrius Haley, followed by uh, Tadarius Bean, followed by Justin Smith, Desmond Mills Jr. 
I think is going to get the uh, least of the least of the time. And the reason why is even though he hit him with the baton, he'll get the least amount of time. I think. You know what I mean? Because I remember Edmund Mar Edmund Martin was kicking him in the face. Demetrius Haley, all of them doing him dirty. It's a bad day, man. And the day justice going to get served. They have to. It's a five hundred fifty million plus civil suit against them. The white scorpion sold y'all out and, and turn state this evidence. They're going to use him to say which is bad police procedure and what is good police procedure. And I'm telling you, C.J. Davis better hope the white scorpion don't get on the stand because it's going to reflect. When you taught this, because you know they're going to say they're going to fight for their lives. We was taught to do this. It don't matter. Uh, uh, we never got in trouble before. Who authorized such treatment of people in the street? Normal citizens. You think they're going to keep their mouth shut? Especially when C.J. Davis threw them aside and cut bait and threw them in, in, the, in the water? Come on. Come on. It's their freedom. They're going to fight. And you cannot tell me she's not sweating bullets. Especially if uh, the white scorpion, Preston Hemphill, agreed with some of them saying they was taught to do that. I'm just saying. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Region channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Friday, I'll come back with the update. See you in the next video. Take care.